The remarkable cooling system run on sunlight and salt water, no electricity required. The concept is in its earlier stages, but it could offer a promising solution to remove the communities without access to electricity. It is easy for you guys. You will forget it after watching this video from your mobile or laptop, but it is embarrassing that 940 million people or 13% of the world population don't have access to electricity. Many of them live in searing hot arid countries like Nigeria, Mali, where air conditioning is a luxury and the infrastructure for solar energy is more than lacking. A new technology could help them to cool down without electricity. This is all thanks to a basic chemical reaction. According to a report of 2018, from an international energy agency, air conditioner and electricity fan account for 10% of the world's electricity consumption, a number that is expected to grow as average global temperature rise. This is particularly problematic in arid regions that don't have an infrastructure to keep people cool in the first place. This new technology being developed at Saudi Arabia's King Abdullah University of Sciences and Technology is in its earlier stages, but if successful, it could offer a promising solution when certain salts are dissolved in water. They absorb heat which cool down the water. When built into a large-scale system, the technology could provide a cooling effect without the need of electricity. In underdevelopment regions, this can help them to store food for a couple of days. Dr. Peng Wen, an environmental science and engineering professor at King's Abdullah University of Sciences and Technology who is the leading research when his team tested the system in a lab, the temperature remained below 50 degrees Fahrenheit for 8 hours and under 59 degrees Fahrenheit for 15 hours, which will be enough to store food for one day. The technology comes into two parts, first the salt needed to be dissolved in water then it has to be regenerated so it can be reused over and over again. To do that, Dr. Wang's team used sunlight which causes water to evaporate and leave the salt solid behind. For now, this process occurs in a black cup shaped structure that can absorb solar energy and convert it to heat which then helps to evaporate water. So far, the researchers have built a proof of concept in laboratory scale. Next day, they wanted to build a demonstration unit. It can be big as a regular fridge or as small as you call lunch box. Explain Wang, it could also come as water bed. If you replace the water inside your mattress, you have yourself in a cooling mattress. He says as for the regenerating system itself that can be kept on the roof or in the backyard. Wang considered the process it not fast as it will take one hour to restore in the salt 2 liter of water. Dr. Wang explained that solar energy can be stored for later use, meaning cooling will be able to be on demand not just when the salts are regenerated. You can use today solar energy to provide cooling power in a week. After experimenting the, with the very salt, the researcher landed on the ammonium nitrate. It is easy to dissolve and it is common fertilizer so sourcing won't be issue. Even for individual household, and while it is too early to talk about the cost, he says that most expensive part might be sourcing the water, especially in arid regions. In remote regions where the water is not easily acceptable, this seems like a major obstacle. And Wang admits it is the biggest concern. So his team is now working on the ways to recover the water in suitable ways. That's all, guys. We'll see you in next video. I hope that this video will be helpful for you. You have learned many things from this video. So please like the video and subscribe my channel and stay tuned with Instant Learner.